Welcome to the video from the digitallifes.com new Windows 11 build to look at. This is build 25295 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. This is just a quick video because there's not a huge amount in this build. There's some new policy stuff for use with Windows Update Server, that kind of thing, but that's more on the enterprise side. For the um, normal user, there is the search box here that has been rolled out, uh, that was announced a few builds ago and a few insiders had it, but now it's good to everybody. So you can see the treatment here. It's the sort of the curved box with the, the image on there. You can actually customize that. So you can choose whether you want the search box, the icon and label, search only or not at all. So that's the, um, that's the new, the new features on that. So I quite like the, the default one, which was the search box with the image like that, but you, you get to choose that. So that's the main change with this build, actually. The rest of the changes are just fixes. There is one other thing, actually, that um, if you get a two-factor authentication email, it will detect that and allow you, to, and there's a button to copy uh, when the notification pops up. I can't generate this because I can't generate with two-factor with email. Um, I use the two-factor app, the Microsoft Authenticator, but it would show a copy to clipboard option as well, which is quite good, like you do on the phone when you use the Microsoft Authenticator. Okay, so the rest of the changes in this build are just fixes. Uh, they fixed some issues with bug checks when upgrading builds. I hadn't seen that one. They fixed some issues with um, where it would freeze, the app would freeze, and they fixed some issues with the uh, Windows update history was blank. I haven't seen any of these builds, I checked on the previous one. Actually, one thing I can show you is that was announced on the previous build but I couldn't show you last week was the Spotify um, widget that I've got on here so you can have I'm, I'm it on full screen but you can change it so that's the Spotify widget and it just really is as a link to Spotify app you see a man it's actually blank at the moment when it works it just shows you the uh, some playlist and you can click play to go on to that Okay, uh, back to the um, fixes. They've a fix fixed an issue with logins, and they fixed an issue with File Explorer, where um, when you're using the Arabic or Hebrew display language, it wasn't rendering quite correctly. And they fixed some window issues. There are some new known issues with this build. Uh, the ability to show the seconds in the system clock tray has disappeared, um, and they'll bring that back. They said so you could show sec seconds that's coming back, and it, there are, there may be some issues joining. Um, Active Directory joined users, you may, you may see sort of getting ready uh, and they're investigating that, so that's when you're joining, uh, that's when you're logging in after, after when you're on a domain join machine. And there is a new issue with um, some authentication issues on websites. Uh, some of the known issues, as you've seen, I've mentioned, some of the third party widgets may disappear and you can reappear them or that um, the notifications don't work so my widgets occasionally disappear and um, my widgets sometimes disappear and that is the that's the error that you see in there so that's the main changes we've got the new search box we've got the toast notifications with two-factor authentication and the new issues which I've mentioned there so thanks for joining this video I'm sure I, sorry I can't show you more features if Microsoft introduced more features I'll be able to show them but you can find a lot more on the digitalifestyle.com I'm at iStixer on Twitter